Hello guys, welcome back to the next episode of this Mercedes Sprinter van conversion. As a mechanical services engineer, this is one part of the build that I've really been looking forward to. Because in this video, we get to talk about how we're gonna heat the van and how we're gonna generate hot water for showering. And in these two boxes is the equipment that's gonna transform our ordinary steel panel van into a luxury motorhome. So without further ado, let's get the equipment unboxed and I'll walk you through it. When we first sat down to design our van, one of the things that was at the top of our list was the ability to have a shower. We'll be spending quite a considerable amount of time in the van when we're touring Europe. Some of that will be on campsites where we can use their facilities, but some of the time we're gonna be off grid and we wanted to be able to have the flexibility to have a shower and have running hot water when we wanted. There are plenty of heaters on the market whether they be gas or diesel, but there's not very many good solutions for generating hot water in your motorhome. So we did a lot of research and one company that stood head and shoulders above the rest was Truma. This is a combination boiler and this boiler not only produces warm air for heating, but it will also heat the hot water for showering or for washing up. It comes in a couple of different variants. You can get it with LPG, or you can even get a diesel powered version. And there is also the option for electric heating. This particular boiler that I've got here is a combi boiler. It's dual fuel, and this will run on both LPG and electric. It's essentially very similar to the old shell and tube boilers. The burner is arranged down the center of the boiler. Wrapped around that is a heat exchanger. Cold air from your van is drawn in through the front here with this centrifugal fan is blown down the heat exchanger, heated up by the burner, and then it comes out of these four outlets at the rear here, and then is ducted around the van to grills at various locations. And then surrounding the whole of the heat exchanger, you've got a stainless steel water jacket that holds 10 litres of water. So while you're heating your van, that water jacket that surrounds that heat exchanger is also heating your hot water. It's a room sealed boiler, it's got a balanced flue, so the air inlet for combustion and the exhaust gases go out through a concentric duct to a terminal on the outside of your van, so none of your combustion gases make it into the van. If you've got a little propane heater in your van, one of the byproducts of burning LPG is that it produces moisture, so you'll find that you'll probably have a lot of condensation issues in the van. Whereas with this boiler, the air for combustion and the exhaust go directly to outside and nothing enters the vehicle. Let's have a look at a cut through diagram of the heater and I'll explain how it works in more detail. Here we have a cut through diagram of the Truma Combi. Let's first talk about the burner. This is the flue portion. It's a concentric flue with one pipe inside another. Air is drawn in from outside for combustion into the combustion chamber mixed with the LPG and burnt and then the hot flue gases travel up the boiler to the far end and then return back through this heat exchanger and then back through the central flue and exhausted to outside. Cold air from your van is drawn into the heater via this centrifugal fan and is blown through the heat exchanger in the opposite direction to these hot flue gases. These two air streams don't mix at all but heat is transferred through the walls of the heat exchanger from the hot flue gases to the cold air in your van. This warms the air up as it travels through the heat exchanger and then it's distributed at the end of the heater through these four ducted outlets. Ductwork can then be run in the van to grills at various locations. Then finally, surrounding the whole of that heat exchanger is this stainless steel water jacket this can hold 10 litres of water. As the burner is providing hot air to heat the air within the van, it's also transferring some of that heat into this water. And at any one time, the boiler can hold 10 litres of water at temperatures up to 60 degrees centigrade. There's a water inlet at the bottom of the boiler, and then the hot water comes out of this outlet at the top of the boiler. So you'd be drawing your hot water from this outlet and cold water will be replaced at the bottom of the boiler and the boiler will be continually heating that cold water. 
On a boost setting, this boiler will typically raise a cold tank of water up to 60 degrees in 20 minutes. Let's have a look at how we're going to control the system. One of the best features of this heating system are the controls. It comes with a liquid crystal display controller. There's a remote room sensor, which is reading the room temperature within the vehicle and relaying that information back to the controller. And on this, you can set the specific temperature that you want to achieve within your van. And then the control system will turn the heater on and off to achieve that temperature. You can also control the temperature of the water with this. There's a couple of features where you can put it in an eco mode where it makes the water 40 degrees C or you can put it in a boost mode where it brings the water temperature up to 60 degrees C. There's also a timer function on this controller so you can set start and stop times. There's a great little video that Truma have produced. I'll put a link up here and a link in the description. Go and have a look at that and that'll give you a brief overview of how the controls work. One of the best things about this control system is this iNet box. This is like a central hub. It's gathering all the information from the various bits of equipment in your van. And this is GSM and Bluetooth enabled. So this will connect to a, an app on your smartphone or tablet. And this will allow you to control the heating and hot water in the van, the timer functions. All the information is displayed on this app and you can control it all remotely. And because this is GSM enabled, you put a little SIM card in here and you can actually control the heating and the hot water and the timer functions in your van remotely from the van. You don't even need to be in the vehicle. So we're sitting in a nice restaurant. We've just finished our meal. I can send a message to the Truma system, turn the heating on, and by the time we get back to the vehicle, it'll be nice and warm. How brilliant is that? One more ingenious device that Truma have come up with is this level control device for your LPG gas cylinders. This device is magnetic. It sticks onto the bottom of your cylinder and it can sense exactly how much liquid is in the tank. It's got Bluetooth capability. It will Bluetooth to the iNet box and it will tell the system exactly how much gas is in your cylinder. Propane cylinders have normally got a gauge on them and that reads the pressure within the cylinder. But unfortunately, you can have a very small quantity of gas in there and still have the same pressure. So the gauge is not a very accurate way of telling how much gas you've got in your cylinder. This device can tell exactly how much gas there is in there. And on the liquid crystal display, you'll be able to see instantly how much gas there is in the cylinder. It will also, via the iNet box, give a signal back to the app on our smartphone. So at any time, if I want to check how much LPG I've got left, I can just look at this app. There's also an alarm feature, so I can preset a warning when it gets to a certain level. So we've had a look at the equipment. We've briefly spoke about how it's going to function. So let's jump into SketchUp and I'll show you how it's going to be installed in our vehicle. This is our latest version of the Sprinter plans. The heating system in the majority is going to be housed underneath this L-shaped bench seating. We can see at low level there's a return air grill here, so the cold air from the van will be drawn back into the heater via this grill. Then if we look at a section, the heater is going to be installed underneath the bench seating. The exhaust flue will travel out through the outside of the van and there'll be a terminal on the outside of the van. And then this is where the hot air comes out the back of the heater with these four 65 millimeter ducts. This is a corrugated flexible duct and it will be distributed to grills throughout the van. We're going to have a couple of grills facing through the bulkhead into the cab area because the cab does have quite a large heat loss with the amount of glass that's in there. So we need to make sure that we're providing some warm air to that area just to keep that warm and to prevent any condensation on the windows. These two outlets in the front face of the L-shaped seating will provide the main source of heating for the main living area of the van. And then we're also going to have an outlet in the wet room. And what that's going to do, obviously, that's going to help to just dry out that shower area. Another good feature of having this outlet in the wet room here is if we come into the van from outside and we've got wet clothes, it's been raining and our coats are wet, we can hang the coats up in the shower, turn the heating on, 
put the extract on at high level and this will act like a drying room. In addition to the main living area of the van I'm going to run a duct underneath the shower and bring it up into the garage and put a couple of outlets in the garage portion of the van. And what this will do, this will just make sure that everything in the garage area is nice and dry. So this is the complete arrangement of our heating system in the van. Cold air is drawn in through the front of the heater, heated up and blown out through these ducts to these various grills positioned throughout the vehicle. The whole system is going to be concealed out of view and the only thing that we'll be able to see is these small grills. Hopefully you can see from this short introduction that this Truma heater is going to be an absolutely fantastic addition to our van conversion. Being able to control the temperature in our van accurately and being able to produce our own hot water is going to be absolutely fantastic and it's really going to make our van a home from home. In the coming weeks we're going to be doing some installation videos. I'm going to be showing you how to install the heater in your van, how to run all the ducting and I'm also going to do a video on how to install the controls and how they operate. So if you're not subscribed already please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to tick the little bell symbol, you'll get a notification as soon as I upload the next videos. And if you think this series will be helpful to somebody else, please do share the videos on social media. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.